In the morning of 22nd July 2024 at 12.40 a.m., Ronald Mwenda Mutebi II returned home from Namibia, where he has been for the last three months. Sabasaja Kabaka Hadaria gone to Germany, and his health mind recommended that he recuperates in a secluded place in Namibia, away from his usual routines and royal duties. On the 6th of April, on the 13th of April, on the 6th of May, and on the 24th of June 2024, I informed the people of Buganda that His Majesty the Kabaka was out of the country as he continued to receive medical care. Similar statements were issued by Prince Crispin Junju and Prince David Wasaja. A joint statement signed by the lead of the clan heads council, Prince David Wasaja and myself, was issued on the 18th of June, 2024, wherein we stated that official news about the Kabaka was released by the Katikiro, or the Kabaka's Minister for Information, or other persons so authorized by royal command, like members of the Kabaka's family. News released by the Katikiro, or unauthorized member of the royal family, is what the people of Buganda should regard as authentic news concerning the Kabaka. While I appreciate the Kabaka's role as the overall custodian of our heritage in Buganda, in whose well-being all of us have an interest, he still retains the liberty of privacy with regard to personal matters, health being key among them. We are fully aware of a few individuals who are intent on desecrating our heritage, possibly with a view to destroying the kingdom, who have persistently uttered falsehoods about the Kabaka's condition, his officials, and members of his family. There are also others who are intent on weakening the institutions by which the kingdom is upheld. Some of these come as friends with wide smiles, where they, while their intention is to cause cracks within the different segments of the kingdom. We know these people and you know them, and we shall do all that is necessary to thwart their plans. I urge the people of Buganda to firmly deal with these detractors and disruptors. These detractors and disruptors instigated a handful of people to denigrate the Republic of Namibia at some of their missions abroad, purporting to be motivated by the love they have for the Kabaka. We endured this kind of embarrassment even inside Namibia itself. On behalf of the Kingdom of Buganda, I extend our sincere apologies to the government and people of Namibia for all the discomfort that the actions of these disruptors caused some of the missions abroad and the people of Namibia. I thank the Namibian government for providing adequate security for our king while he was in that country. I thank our Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Ugandan High Commission responsible for Namibia for doing all they could to ensure that the Kabaka state in Namibia was as comfortable as possible. I joined the royal family in appreciating the staff that the Kabaka traveled with. They have gone through quite a challenging period. I thank the medical personnel in Namibia, in Germany and elsewhere and in Uganda for working professionally and dedicatedly as they continue to mind the Kabaka's health. I appreciate the support I've received from Nalinya Rubuga Agnes Nabaruga and members of the royal family and the others with whom I've been handling the entire situation. I thank the people of Buganda for retaining hope and for trusting us during this time when the Kabaka was out of the country. I urge all of you to remain united and calm and to continue working together. Unity is the remedy against detractors and disruptors. May God continue protecting our king and his kingdom. Sabasa Jakabaka Wangara.